And welcome everybody to Kirby's Dreamland, uh, HAL Laboratory Incorporated, Nintendo. This is for this is Kirby's first outing on the Game Boy. And in general. Anyway, uh, here's just a bunch of dancing little Kirby's, all all his various uh, sprites and animations. So we're gonna get started soon, and let's get started uh, now. Stage one, green greens. We all know this place. Yes, this is a staple of the uh, Kirby franchise, as well as the music. So we got Waddle Dees and these uh, birds, and uh, we got Brown O'Berts. So it's a uh, yeah, it's your usual romp, uh, Cappies. Uh, in here, uh, let's get that guy. Get rid of that guy. So. If you actually manage to take some damage, I feel that that's pretty early to for uh, a restroom, rest house, shall I say? Uh, yeah, because there's not really much to damage you. Here's the warp star. Now in this game, uh, the warp star usually means that you're gonna fight a mini boss. So let's throw that bomb back at him. Throw it back. That's all you gotta do. So, he's gonna jump really close to us. Gotta be careful. Alright. And one more bomb. How'd I do it? That's good. Oh, Poppy Bro Jr. Yeah, that mini boss's name, I believe, is called Poppy Bro. Just Poppy Bro regular. Get rid of that bear. Look at all these enemies. They're all over the place. We got a lot of ourselves. I think those are your first set of star blocks. Typically found in the Kirby franchise. You know, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, looks like we gotta go in. So we're now we're climbing up a giant tree. Get that bear! And there's a cappy without his cap. That's strange. Look at them all! That bird's just flapping around for no reason. And trick shot! Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> let's get that out of the way. There's maximum tomato, if you need it. From here, it's, uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple and straightforward. That's... That's the value of green greens. It's not to be too diff. It's not to be difficult or anything. It's just to get you acquainted with the controls. And, uh, if you haven't noticed already, you cannot do any copy abilities in this game, because that was introduced in the second game. This is Kirby's first outing. And you know what? I actually like this game. A lot. Despite how short it is. It's one of my favorite short games. You know, something I'd like to play in a short romp. Just like Super Mario Land and two... A later extent, uh, Dark Void Zero for Virtual Console and DSiWare. Alright, so this here is Wispy Woods. You all know the drill. Just throw the apples right back at him. And that's all it takes. This here is Castle Lolo Low, Low, Low. I believe this was only in this game and Kirby Superstar, if I remember correctly. This here is a microphone. Just, uh, it's pretty much your screen nuke. They aren't really, they aren't really common to find, so... Use them when you do. That's a bomb, so spit that out, do try to do a, a line of explosive damage. We got a bunch of just weird enemies right here. Um, now I always forget about certain details about Kirby game, about this particular Kirby game, because I always remember like there's like a maze of water around here somewhere. Maybe it's just not here. 
Uh, I don't know what those. I don't know what those ghosts or those mummy creatures are. Uh, but I do know that you can't suck up the mummy monsters. You you either have to shoot something back at it, or just an air puff when you uh, inflate. Another warp star, another mini boss. That is Lola Lo. He's actually from a game called. Uh, uh, what was it called? Lolo something. But anyway, he's easy to take care of. Easy mini boss. Probably easier than Poppy Bro. Up here is a little secret door. Uh, we're just gonna grab some extra points. So, let's uh, get rid of ghosts. Get our HP up. And this here is Super Spicy Curry. You probably recognize this from Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. 4. And you might recognize the music from Kirby's Epic Yarn as well. This is Sco Super Spicy Curry. Uh, what it does, you just uh, unleash a barrage of fiery bolts for a limited time. Once you hear the music stop, uh, that means it's pretty much done. So one thing I noticed about uh, this Kirby game is that you can't... You can absorb uh, multiple people at one time, but there's no bonus damage effect. There's no, like, uh, it doesn't continue to pierce through enemies. If, the, if that makes sense. So, like, you can't break through a bro uh, block and then the next block behind it, as I found out. It's really interesting to play when playing this game when you had all the other knowledge of Kirby games before it. Let's move on. Couple Waddle Dees. Ouch. And now we've got Lolo and La La La. Uh, these are, yeah, Castle of Lolo, uh, whatever that game is called. Can't believe I forgot the name. So all you have to do is they're just pushing blocks, just like in the game. Ouch. So it's kind of a bit tricky, you know, just to find a good rhythm. But once you get it, yeah, there's, yeah, there's small windows of time, but uh, not too hard to master. And there we go, we're done. Eight minutes in, and we're already. Almost halfway done. Now we're going to Float Islands. Uh, nothing too particular about this place. It's a per it's uh, it's your typical beach level. That's typically found in Kirby levels. Although uh, one thing I would avoid is the coconuts. You'd be surprised that. <laughs> what they can do is damage. Like, if you just so much as run into one while it's idle, you'll take the damage. That's annoying. Then we got those crab things. We got squid things. And just eating them. Oh, gotta be careful. So one thing always, uh, I never really understood about Kirby games. What does happen to the enemies? Because it appears that they respawn. So it's like Kirby just put them away after he eats them. Or spits them out. That's always something that always kind of bugged me. Because they also don't seem to be affected one way or another. Like, when, once they're getting eaten, like, they're not panicking or something. It just, uh... Yeah, it's just really hard to explain. Alright, let's, uh, go in this room. It's just a bunch of coconuts, and down here is... Still more. Keep going, keep going. We got ourselves a 1-Up. Yeah, these are surprisingly hard to find in this game. Uh, let's continue our way down. And just be careful. Yeah, 1-ups aren't really that easy to come by. 
I'm surprised that this is like the only one I've found so far. We're halfway done, and that was like the only one up I found at this point. Ah! Another super spicy curry segment! So let's uh, do our thing, throw the fire! And watch out for shotzos. Watch out for squids! And da -da 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 -da, another one up! So I think the super spicy curry also runs out when you go underwater. And uh, we're just going to take a little break here. We will be back in a moment. Alright, and we're back, everybody. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, my visual, the visual boy just has a bit of lag, and sometimes I just got to stop the recording and start again. Start a new one. Alright, warp star time! So, this time, I don't think we have a mini-boss to go through. We're just launched by this whale. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Careful, Kirby. Yeah, we're just going directly to the boss. This is known as Kabula. Uh, apparently, it's known as a female. Uh, especially in the later games when it's given, like, eyelashes and on its design. An eye with eyelashes and a scary, scary mouth. Uh, yeah, Kabula can be a pretty tough customer for newcomers. Especially, you know, since he, she just has a variety of shots. So I don't know, really know why Kabula is considered a female, but I think it's just because how uh, people consider aircrafts to be female in general. Like, give a feminine pronoun to air fighters or jets. I don't know. So that transitioned us to the bubbly clouds. Ah, that was just a bad place. Just gotta be careful. And, uh, I don't know what those little things with the mouths are, or with the tongues sticking out are, but I know these are called Scarfies. You gotta be really careful with these guys, because especially in the early games, they're pretty... Uh, annoying to deal with. So, like, first of all, if you try to absorb them, they'll go rabid and then try to explode. Uh, and also, they have a pretty big explosion radius. So, just get, be careful when air puffing, uh, when using the air puff attack. So, what I found out is that you cannot get rid of that umbrella. Fortunately, it doesn't harm you either. Because I know that Waddle Dees and Waddle Dees uh, can do damage that way, you know, just by landing an umbrella on you. Oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And careful, Sir Kibble, that's what that character is called. And just be careful of these sunglasses wearing ghosts. So many fascinating enemies in this game. All right, Bruno Birds, and this is where I get hit. <laughs> so let's deal with these guys again. Uh, yeah, we're sent back to the state to the beginning of the part, you know, from the last door we opened. And just get him out of the way. Just to get him. Waldy and Bruno Bert. Okay, we gotta be careful over here. Yeah, that's where we got hit last time. Let's just enter the door. Waddle in the way. And whatever these are called. Seriously, what are those? Watch out for tongue lemon. Uh I'll just call him squishy. I'll call these guys squish faces. <laughs> I don't know. Can't think of a good name for them. Let's just move on. And those are Gordos. Such a interesting name for such a spicy creature. Gordo. And this here is Cracko Jr. Um, 
nothing too big, nothing too difficult to handle. All you gotta do is just throw a wild dew back at him. He has a pretty predictable pattern. So he'll just like bounce up and down and then throw bombs. Then a wild dew again, and that covers it. So yeah, the warp star was after the boss. After the mini boss. And we got another air lemon. So we know the drill, and that just uh, means we can fly around and shoot air puffs at will. I think there might have been a one up here, but uh, I didn't bother to get one. I didn't bother to really look around. Yeah. I, I just kind of gave up. No big deal. And because... Oh, ho, ho. I almost paid for it big time there. Uh, get rid of that guy. And... A super spicy curry segment. A nice little touch about this part of the level is that there's stars falling. That's really nice how there's sprite. You know, there's like... Trying to... They're attempting to give an environment. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm trying to go back in and just inspect that place, because you saw those star blocks. But uh, I was kind of uh, a little reckless and just went ahead anyway. Careful of these umbrella-wielding waddledees and doos. So this here is Cracko. This is one of the biggest staple enemies in the game, in the series. He's just about as common as Wispy Woods. Uh, Kabula and, uh, Lolo and La La La, on the other hand, they pretty much only make their appearances here in Superstar. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking bad damage. I gotta, I gotta learn this thing's strategy. So, you, I think the best strategy is just, like, try to be airborne whenever you can and be on the opposite side. And, uh... Fortunately, the spikes don't hurt you. Uh oh, oh, bah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's too tough. Just gotta be careful when he just uh, goes back and forth and how he goes back and forth. So I don't really have a defined pattern for him. And there he goes. Bring that star down. And it's dance marathon time. Alright, folks. Last level. Mount DDD. Where we get our most favorite of Kirby characters, in my personal opinion. King DDD. We're blasting right in. And we lost our star. Okay, uh, we are going to take another break right here. This, mm, the visual boy's starting to lag again. I'll see you in just a moment. And we're back, everybody. So let's start our boss gauntlet. This is the entire gimmick of uh, this level. Just an entire gauntlet of uh, just a, an abridged stage followed by uh, a boss battle. So yeah... The castle Lolo Lolo stage and uh, and Lolo Lolo and la la la. Uh, I I really got to be more careful because yeah, there, I don't think there's any uh, point. There's there's no points in time where you can recharge your health. And uh, let's just wait for the next round. Grab that, and be careful, careful, careful. There we go. Nothing too much to it. And you can just pretty much drop here. It's actually pretty, I think it's actually safer to just drop because uh, you'll do like a headbutt when you're dropping. Yeah, you're more likely to take damage if uh, you're just gently floating down. 
Anyway, let's get on to Cracko. Rematch. Cracko shouldn't be too tough. Um, <laughs> you might experience times like those. Let's try and see if we can get rid of him. I'd really appreciate a run button. Well, like a, a double tap to run. It would avoid a lot of easy damage. Okay, good. Uh, what's he gonna do? Okay, he's just gonna float on over. He's not gonna dash over. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And <laughs> run. So I haven't really mastered his pattern, and I just missed that wild do. Oh, man! <laughs> I almost bit the dust there. Oh, that's another close one. And let's do that. Okay, only two more left. Let's just go in here. And I died from a coconut. At first I was like, what hit me? See, like, you can barely notice that coconut. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't see it render. I did not see it at all, like... Just surprise coconut. Uh, careful, I think those spikes can hurt you. I don't know, I got pretty close and, uh, didn't, like, seem like it did anything. Alright, so... Yeah, just a bit more to the stage. Just a couple of enemies. And we get air lemon time! Okay, so you know the drill. Kabula. Kabula, surprisingly enough, has a lot more uh, a lot more uh, health than most characters. And apparently he can home in on you. Yeah, like, I did not notice he'll just, like, go charge at, directly at you. I thought he'd just charge us directly forward. Like so. So, just a couple more shots, and there we go. Last stage! Green Greens! And so, you know, we know how this works. And there's a bit of a flying stage with a, a wooden log in the way. And this Cappy's just dancing, doing his thing. Alright. So I'm surprised that the music doesn't change the boss theme uh, during these segments. Just, uh, ah. I don't know, I just have... I just have a bad time with the apples. <laughs> See, when, when I'm not trying, just desperately trying to grab one, I run into it. I don't know, something about the just moving left and right. And that covers it. All we have left is the king himself, the Deedle. King Dedede has about, mm, let's see, one, two, yeah, he does, ah, man, I'm done already. He has an absorb attack, just like uh, Kirby. Uh, he has uh, two different hammer attacks. He has that jump attack, and then sometimes he'll try and trip on you. So that's a total of five attacks. And out of all those attacks, only two allow you the opportunity to attack him. First is that hammer attack. And the other is this jump attack. There we go. So just uh, keep your distance. Like, try and trick him out. Yeah, just try and uh, deceive him. Looks like he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna trip. So I just advise, like, jumping and uh, moving away a little bit. I remember having trouble with this guy, like, the first time around. But uh, once you get down to it, he's not too bad. You just gotta be patient, that's all. 
Yeah, he's just not throwing the hammer. Oh, here we go. Okay, just get distance. There we go. So strangely enough, this is the only time in a canon Kirby game where DDD is the main villain. Every other time, DDD is always uh, is either outclassed by <laughs> dark matter, uh, just a temporary threat, or he's just uh, not present in the case of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And we did it! We got rid of the screechy D. That's all five stars. Uh, I don't know what they do. I, I mean, we'll find out. So, I guess they allow us to seize the castle and allow us to become a weather balloon. I'm guessing that's what the stars do. So yeah, we're just a giant balloon. Moving the castle around. So the plot line in the Kirby's game, in the first Kirby game, is rather simple. DDD is just being a jerk and stealing the food, and it's up to Kirby to get it back. That's all there is to it, as you could play, as you could no doubt see from the ending screen. At first, I almost thought that said Bubsy. You know, Bubsy the Bobcat. <laughs> yeah, we actually just beat this in less than 30 minutes. So it's even shorter than Super Mario Land, if you can believe that's possible. Thank you all for playing. You're welcome, Masahiro Sakurai. Now we're just, uh, flying down. And we're giving food to the, all the other Kirbys. I don't know, they don't really explain the residents. Like, if they're just more Kirbys. Anyway, let's end this. Deedle! What are you doing here? <laughs> so if you didn't take... If you couldn't take DDD seriously now, you probably won't now at this point. Like, he's just actually whining and complaining. Anyway, as you can see here, if you press up A and select on the title screen, you can start a new adventure. That is known as hard mode. Anyway, this has been Father Lego. See you guys later. Have a nice one.